Hello, so recently I've noticed that uh, the layout updates or lack of layout updates um, so in this video what I'm going to do is do a tour of the layout and hopefully every month or every couple of months I will upload a layout update and hopefully that would be a, uh, a continuous continuous thing and uh, there'll be more videos on the uh, YouTube channel so in front the uh, that's the uh, the second station of the layout it does three tracks no two tracks the one where the intercity is and the one where the uh, Class 40 is and you can as you can see right there it's lit up inside I'm gonna move over now the system I run is an NCE power cab I've made this little uh, holder here out of some scrap bits of metal that then goes down to my bench where it plugs into there I've still got to put in the uh, auto switch for the programming track right there uh, this bit here is going to be my control panel as you can see I've just got I'll, I'll be doing these switches over Christmas probably while I'm off work and then that will probably be the next layout update this control panel will control all of this area I'll go over there like in a bit in a bit and I'll show you a bit closer uh, let's go over here This, at the moment, is the TMD. Uh, that will all get changed over to go behind where the uh, control panel is. The coal, uh, coal part, and the water tower that will stay there. I'll get a few close-up shots of it later. That's the only incline I've got. It goes around the layout. And then it comes back down over there just quickly still a lot more work to do yet on the whole layout this was two of the think Pico shed units that I kit bash together as you can hopefully see it's on a curve and you can see in this over here will eventually be a town scene in these two holes I have got the uh, pieces of wood to go in there and these will be removable uh, if I ever need to get right over to the back another one there but overall this inside the inner track will all be a town uh, with roads going from the crossings this is the only tunnel I have on the layout still need to pick some trees up on it, yeah. This is made out of chicken wire with uh, the plaster bandage. This is the factory area or even parcel depot as well. Named after the uh, YouTube channel. See a little man there. He's just doing his work. 
kind of reminds me of Fred Dibner. This signal box is all lit up as well. Here's another quick view of the main station. I'll go close later. A lot of this is going to be changed just soon, especially this road here. Uh, at the moment, I wanted to have a way of the cars getting from uh, this side of the blout right here, from this roadway, over to the uh, main train station. I also wanted to have a a little bridge going over the track right here uh, still a work in progress I've done the main frame I just got to uh, print some brick paper from scale scenes probably but that's gonna take a good few months to do I don't get a lot of time up here at the moment probably because of the weather and how cold it is So as I said, this area here will be the new TMD. Uh, at the moment, I'm sort of settled on the three tracks, but there might be another one coming out through here. That's the other side. Another bit for the trains to go under there. So it comes off from the loops down here where the uh, class 47 is, splits into three, and then that three go all the way into the main station where then they get split off into one, two, three, four, and then five tracks. This but as, as you can tell, most of the kits are all Metcalf buildings, apart from the Pico over there. But all of this is scale scenes. This took, I don't know, six months all to build. That's been kit bashed to fit in that small area there just gonna take the phone off the cradle and go inside the platform is a wood base with again the scale scenes platforms uh, printed and glued on the top can fit roughly three to four coaches depending on how long the coaches are and then normally the loco or whatever sticks out on the front it's all been lit up it's not the best but I'm still learning probably change it that's the parcel office it's been lit up as well the station car park
you'll have to excuse the mess but that's my storage bench and then all of my various paints and glues grasses and my spares gravel so what's next to do well I'd like to on this freeway right here uh, I've just it's taken me a few a few months to get it all sorted out um, I've got two cobalt uh, digital point motors now they all work with the power cab but I'd like to get it working with switches so that's going to be done over Christmas along with the auto switch done over Christmas while I'm here quickly so this is my that's my bench as I showed you earlier and then it lifts up there's two hinges under there I'll go under, go under quickly as you can see that's the piece of bar that swivels and holds it up uh, I bought myself a Christmas present been off, off, ever since I saw this on Hatton's I've been wanting to get one just because I'm in the south east of England and I do like the network south east livery got the 47 and inside the station there's a two car I think it's a 108 network south east and uh, yeah I've just picked up the uh, class this is the Hatton's uh, limited edition diesel rail car and I've got that in the uh, network south east again I've already had it out of the box but I need to fit the uh, 21 pin decoder in it and then that'll be packed away for Christmas that'll be on the uh, next layout update as well what I'm going to do now is get some trains running and then that'll be it and there'll be a few shots of some trains in various points of the layout let me know what you think and I'll uh, try and keep on doing the layout updates and uh, thanks for watching cheers I've also just upgraded the speaker in the class 40 this is the Hornby TTS I'll just get it to go on It's quite big, the speaker. It's probably, probably about this, just a tad bit shorter in length than that truck rubber, uh, and probably a bit shorter in the width as well. But it does sound a lot better. And I think I think it was about three pounds for the speaker, and it's made a huge difference. I think.